Okay, so in um, this video, I'm just gonna show you the difference between a cost price and a sale price, um, and, and how we can handle that in a spreadsheet. Okay, now just to make it a little bit more interesting since last time, I've changed the items to, to drinks. They're a little bit more expensive, so the numbers get a bit bigger. I mean, I've added one or two rows. So we've got the quantity, which hopefully is fairly obvious. We've got the cost per item. This is the cost price. Okay. Now, when you hear people talking about cost price, they're talking about the cost for the for the shop or the company to buy it. Okay. That is that is cheaper, and there's various reasons why it's cheaper. But ultimately, the shop needs to make some money, so they need to be able to buy it a bit cheaper than they sell it for. Okay. Next column is our price per item. This is our sale price. Okay. Um, this is how much you, as a consumer, buying this from your, in this case, probably corner shop or Tesco's or something like that, is going to pay. Okay. Um, the next column is the subtotal cost. Um, this is, I, I probably not labeled that very well, but this column here, in fact, this probably should be. Um, subtotal cost kind of works because it is the it's the cost price subtotal. So five Coca Colas bought at fifty p a piece is going to cost us two pound fifty. Okay, and the last column over here is the 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 subtotal sale price. Okay, so five Cokes at one pound is going to cost you the consumer five pounds. Okay, and there are exactly the same formulas in behind this that's making it all work. Okay, down the bottom, we have a total. Now here, we can say equals bracket, drag across our sale total. This is how much the consumer is going to end up paying. Okay, what did I do wrong there? Oh, I did it again, equals sum bracket, these things here. Okay, so if, I don't know why you would, but if you went into a shop and you bought five pound, uh, five Cokes, 20 Pepsis, three Fantas, and a Dr. Pepper, and they cost you these prices here, that would set you back £28.50. Okay. Now in here, we're going to say equals sum, bracket, and we're going to, oh, that's not equals, equals sum, bracket. And we're going to drag across these prices, the subtotal cost. Okay, so this is the cost to the business. Drag across those. Close the bracket, press enter. And so we can see immediately that we're making quite a bit of profit here. It's costing us £14.30 to buy these items. We are going to be selling them for £28.50. Okay, so there's a few things that we could do to work out um, how much profit we would be making. Um, First thing, hopefully the most obvious thing, will maybe to be put in another column here, another box. Um, we could say profit. Um, and we could do a little formula here, which is going to work out the difference. Now, all we really need to do is work out how much we've sold it for, take away how much we bought it for, and that's going to tell us how much money we've made. Okay. So to do that, we can say equals bracket this figure the bigger figure take away this figure the smaller figure gives us 14 pounds 20 so i mean in most cases here i actually increase the price by almost 100 percent. so that's not surprising okay that's telling us that we've made quite a bit of money here now if i were to adjust all these this is the this is the thing that's quite clever, I suppose. If I were to adjust all these, so the cost price was greater than the sale price, so I made this a pound, and this, I don't know, 50p, okay, you'll see the price comes down. And if I do this one, if I made this one um, 90p, 0.9, and I made this, I don't know, 0.8. You will see we're now making negative numbers. Okay, um, and this is this is pretty simple still, but it, it shows us that we're we're losing money here. 
Okay, so just to recap, we've got items over here, we've got quantity over here, how many of them we are buying. We have how much we are buying them for in this column, how much we're buying them for each in this column. We've got how much we are selling them for in this column. We have a, a subtotal for each item for how much we are paying for them. So five Cokes at one pound a piece is going to cost us five pounds. And we have a subtotal for how much we are selling them for. Now, obviously, I just messed about with this, but five Cokes at 50p a piece, we are selling them for two pound 50. We also have a cost total, so it's costing us 25 pounds. We have a sale total, so we are selling it for 23 pounds. And we have a profit column. Okay. Hopefully you've been able to follow those skills and hopefully you'll be able to put those into practice in, in your own sort of um, profit calculator.